Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've decided after the marathon day vlog, which admittedly was not a normal vlog, um, I ran a marathon. <laughs> I promise I'm going to stop talking about that soon. Um, yeah, I decided that I would start having another crack at vlogs. We obviously had a bit of a break, um, just needed a break, sometimes just gets a bit too much. Um, but I thought we'd try and ease our way back in to vlogging. So today is Saturday, uh, Saturday of the long bank holiday weekend. So I thought we'd just do like a little spend the weekend with me vlog kind of thing. So it's just gonna be a little weekend vlog. Um, we're up to a few bits and pieces. So just thought that we'd just take you guys along with us. So I'm just gonna set you guys down because I'm gonna make me and Simon a drink. There we go, lovely. Are you all comfortable? This is so not the best angle for my double chin, is it? <laughs> Anyway, uh, so I don't really think I've got much to update you guys on. Um, I've got a few new bits for the house, which I'll probably show you later. Just got some new prints, um, a few bits and pieces for the kitchen to try and finish off the kitchen. One thing that I would like to do this weekend is paint that bloody door. So that hopefully I can put on the to-do list for maybe tomorrow. So we're going out for Sunday lunch tomorrow with Simon's mum and sister. So potentially I could do like the first coat before we go out. It's all very exciting stuff. Right, now that I've made the drinks, first job of the day is that we bought these um, jar, mason jar things so that we could put all our like pasta and rice in. So I'm gonna decant those because they were all washed yesterday. And I'm just gonna show you what Simon's up to because he's got some friends in the garden. Excuse the washing. <laughs> Are you feeding your friends? Yeah, your bird friends? You want breakfast? Huh? You want breakfast? Nice. What about this over here though? That's lunch. That. You've got to put them up today. That's on yeah. your to-do list. He's got some friends in the garden and also some bee friends. Yeah, I'm going to show everyone later. Oh, you're going to show everyone later? Well, you're being very secretive over there. Look at you. <laughs> Is that a good coffee? Good. Right, Simon has just gone to take the babies for a walk. I went yesterday on the walk, but it wasn't the best. I was still struggling a little bit in terms of my muscles. So I have opted to stay here today. Hopefully, if I feel strong enough and if my muscles aren't hurting as much i think i'm going to attempt to go for a little run tomorrow just to give my muscles a bit of a stretch out but we'll see we'll see how that goes um so i have come upstairs because i'm going to get ready because we're going to go out for a nice sunday breakfast it's not sunday it's saturday a nice saturday <laughs> breakfast right i am all ready to go we've also got to do some filming as well when we go into greenwich because we've got to do some cutaways for a review video that i filmed for this bag that should have gone up on sunday so if you haven't seen it and you fancy hearing what i think about phoebe here then you can go and watch that, that was Sunday's video. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing as per usual. If I start off with the jewelry, so I've got some big hoops here from And Other Stories, smaller hoops in Misoma, and then I'm having a bit of trouble with my third hole here. So, sorry guys, I don't know if you can see this. I have a uh, lightning bolt here in this ear and then my little lark and berry stud in my tragus. Hopefully you saw that. Necklace wise, this is my Monica Venada mini Marie pendant. And then this little delicate chain is from Holly J, which is the Etsy seller that I'm always talking about. Now for the rest of the outfit, it's actually still a bit chilly. Or I say still a bit chilly, it's gone back to being chilly. So I have dug out a coat. I did keep a select amount of coats still out in my coat wardrobe along with my trenches but today it's pretty nippy so I'm feeling like it's a wool coat scenario so this is um, like a beigey cream belted coat with nice little pockets which keep your hands warm this is from Cezanne underneath textbook it is my MS cashmere knit which is I think coming to the end of its life potentially I'd, or at least I need to debobble it uh, jeans wise these are the frayed hem let's have another zoom straight leg jeans from Topshop 
Phoebe, who I just mentioned, my Celine box bag. As I said, we've got to do a bit of filming. And then shoes, these are new. This is the first time that I've been able to wear these because my sprained ankle only just started to sort of properly heal yesterday to the point where I can actually wear normal shoes because I had to wear um, sandals up until this point. So these are my new Everlane trainers. These are called Tread by Everlane. They've brought them out in a few different colours. I think there's about nine colours in total. They're quite chunky, but they are very, very eco-friendly. I mean, as much as something can be eco-friendly when it's brand new, but they basically have a zero carbon footprint, I believe, or at least in all the manufacturing process, whatever they do, um, it somehow was miraculously managed to zero or to basically scrap the carbon footprint. So that is those. I have them in the off-white colour, if anyone's wondering, but they do have a few colours, navy, black, I think they even have them in a green colour. Uh, but they're very comfortable, obviously. Today will be a test because we're going to do a little bit of walking when we go out for uh, breakfast. So I will let you guys know how they fare by the end of the day. Oh, only six days ago, I was up there in Greenwich Park, doing my stretches, getting ready. And then like an hour and a bit later, I was running down this bit here and then all I was was disappointed because someone wasn't in the spot where I thought they were going to be. Someone ran too fast. Oh, look, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> getting emotional over it. Fast forward six days, and now I'm just going to stand in the face. Decisions, decisions. What are you going to have? No idea. Oh. Um, I'm tempted by full English. I think I've deserved it. <laughs> so I went for the burrito, which is very, very nice. I had it before. Didn't have the avocado in it before, took it out. But I'm going to try it with avocado today. Avocado's not my favourite, but we'll give it a go and see. <laughs> Whereas this one, look. Huge fry up. Not as good as mine at home, but. Uh. <laughs> Debatable. No way, Jose. Super green. Super green. Because it's all about balance. <laughs> One healthy thing, ten unhealthy things. <laughs> so, verdict, burrito, still thumbs up. And the avocado, thumbs down. You can have it, I think, have it about the avocado. Unless you love avocado, obviously. And have it with avocado. But for me, without, it's much better. <laughs> we love it. You. Food critic over here, see? Well, well. That's the most unflattering angle. English breakfast. Full breakfast? Full English breakfast. Thumbs up. Delicious. Right, we are back at the homestead. So now the DIY can commence. We stopped off on the way home, got paint, brushes, and uh, picture fixings because Obviously we've got to paint that door, I say we, it's going to be more me, so I'm going to start that in a minute. And then this is one of the new prints and frames I got from Desenio, so that needs to go on that wall. So I've just got myself changed into a hoodie, my Stranger Things hoodie by the way, and an old pair of jeans, and I'm going to crack on with my paint job. Look at that DIY at its finest. That is what bank holiday weekends are for. See? <laughs> My neighbours are also proof that DIY is what bank holiday weekends are for. So we've got the print up there. It's a massive one, that one. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description box below for the frame and the print that I got. And then I've given the door one coat. It says it's one of those one coat and no undercoat glosses, but they are lies. That's going to need another coat, maybe three. And then I think we're also going to have to do some sanding and stuff of the, um, what are these things called? Door frames. Because we used to have a door on here 
and that's gonna need some wood filler, but it looks better than what it did anyway. But now that my hard work is done, I think it's time to see what Simon's up to. He's in the garden. It looks like he's pruning, <laughs> pruning things. I think he might, might wanna show you his bees. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Have you been uh, pruning? I hope you got my best side. <laughs> <laughs> what, this one? You've no, normally got one. your butt hanging out. <laughs> look at this. Oh, look, you got your little, what is that? Bird, what are they? Balls, yeah. bird balls. Bird balls. In there, and then that's your little bee thing, which you're gonna show people yeah. in a minute. And we got birds living in this tree, haven't we? Yeah, I think I annoyed them by taking off their yeah, branches Yeah, probably, away. you haven't taken a nest, have you? Oh, good. Do you want to right. my bee yeah, put that away and then you can show everyone your right. bees. Anyone who don't follow me on Instagram gets a picture once every month. <laughs> Emma's mum got me this for Christmas. The best thing I've ever been bought, I think. We watch little bees going in and out of there. Uh, in and wait. out, in and out. You. Oh, I showed Emma. And look, I don't want to get too close because I don't want to disturb it. That bottom one there. Little bees made a hive. So we're just waiting for the little baby bees to come. Oh, where'd you go? I'm here. <laughs> bee babies. For any of them, hopefully. How do you know that? Ooh. Well, because bees have up to 20 babies. Alright. Oh, but we don't know what a baby bee's called. Someone's done their research. <laughs> Right, now I also said I was going to give you guys a quick catch up on new homey stuff. So I'm going to start off down here. For those of you that watch the kitchen renovation vlog, I mentioned that down in this little section of the kitchen, we were going to have, or we were looking, sorry, that's really dark. We were looking to have uh, like a round tulip table and a couple of chairs, just so we can sit, maybe have coffee in the morning. In summer, I can have these doors open and I could maybe work down here on the laptop. So, I have found the chairs which are here. I bought these off eBay. I bought them second hand but they were new. So basically they hadn't even been put together yet. Um, they're grey velvet with uh, dark grey legs which kind of match the dark grey of the kitchen. And uh, they're very comfortable actually and they were a bargain. So we have those and then the table we're actually gonna make I say we're gonna make, <laughs> we're not physically gonna make it, but we're essentially doing a bit of a mix and match. So we're buying the, the, le uh, the leg, is it called a leg? No, the table base. We're buying the base off that Asian site, Alibaba. And then the top, we're actually going back to the people that did our granite work surfaces and we're gonna get them to cut the circular tabletop so that everything matches. And then up in the lounge, I don't really have an update of anything to show you in particular. Oh, apart from the new tree. So, a couple of weeks ago, in fact, it was the week before we went to, where did we go? Uh, to the marathon, that was it. I bought a fiddle leaf fig, which I've wanted for ages. We're still looking for a pot. We bought one off TK Maxx online, but it arrived broken because it was ceramic. So we're still on the hunt for one of those. It's ginormous. And those of you who follow me on Instagram might have seen Simon carrying this through East London like a trooper. So yes, we need uh, a rather large sort of gray colored pot to put the fiddle in. Um, we do have some new cushions. These cushions are new. And then I've got some new prints over here. So I'm looking at rejigging the print situation. I've obviously got these, this one, and then I'm looking to potentially move these mirrors and have some prints instead. So that's a plan of action, but I think I need to order some more prints from Decenio. So I got these, which are really cool. And then that one, which is a slightly different one. They're quite sort of arty and abstract. And then stupidly, I ordered this massive frame, but didn't order the print to go inside. Slight oversight on my part. Wakey, wakey, sleepy head. Wakey, wakey. Yeah, hello, sleepy bones. You coming out to play? Oh, I see, shake it off.
So I'm sorry I didn't pick up the vlog camera again yesterday, but the weather just became grim, for want of a better word. It was rainy, well actually it was rainy, then it was sunny, then it was rainy, then it was sunny. It was one of those days. Typical British weather. So Simon and I just sat and, sorry, someone's seen a cat. Uh, Simon and I just sat and watched a bit of a box set on Netflix chilled out for a little bit. I did some blog post writing and actually I got up quite early this morning and did another couple of hours writing my marathon post. So by the time you guys watch this, you should already be able to see that blog post. It should have already have gone live. Um, so that will explain a little bit about my marathon experience and training in particular because I know a lot of you guys were asking about training. And yes, so I hope you enjoy that. I'll leave a link down in the description box below if you haven't already checked that out. Now, today is Sunday. It is my one week anniversary from running the marathon. And I am gonna go for a little run. Look at this, I've got my, this is the t-shirt that we all got. It's a proper running t-shirt by New Balance. So I've got that on, got my belt on, I've actually got running tights on today and these faithful bad boys which took me 26.2 miles. Meanwhile Simon, having a bloody sausage sandwich. Honestly the FOMO is real. I think he's going to make me one when I get back. So yeah, this is the first run I will be going for after the marathon. And yeah, I don't want to say too much because my whole story is in that blog post. So if I say to you guys, I'm kind of doing things the reverse way round, that might make sense to some of you. So I will pick you guys back up in, I don't know, an hour maybe, and hopefully I'm still alive. Well, that was not a good idea. Simon says it was a good idea, but now I feel like I can't walk again. And I only did just over two miles. My muscles, honestly, there's muscles. You've literally only gone about 10 seconds. I have not. What are you, what are you just telling them? What are you saying to them? Where I've run. Well, not where I've run, but how far. out the front door. That's lies. turned around and he was back in. That is lies. It's a squash. Thanks. Oh, also, can you just go and have a look on my bedside table? Yeah. And tell me what's there? What is it, dirty underwear? Marathon medal. Ooh. Boom! Right, I've had a little rest. <laughs> a couple of hours rest after my little uh, mini run. <laughs> and I've done some more writing on that blog post. So I'm almost done now. But I started to get to a really emotional bit and then I was like, I need to go and get dressed. Because we're going out for Sunday lunch. We're going out with Simon's mum and his sister and maybe his sister's boyfriend not sure um so this is what i am wearing gonna start off on the top got my cinco i think this is called the matilda necklace uh on there and then underneath this is uh one of my arquette t-shirts just a basic black short sleeved one the blazer, which lots of you guys keep asking about actually, you must have seen it over on my Instagram. Um, this is a wool mix blazer from Mango. Uh, lots of you have been asking my opinion. Yes, it's great. This is the sort of length that I'd been looking for in a single breasted blazer. I have a double breasted one, but I was looking for a single breasted. I love it. So I hope that answers your questions. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. Uh, I've got usual Cartier watch on. I've got Phoebe again. Phoebe's getting a real run for her money right now. Uh, the jeans are Topshop editor jeans. And then the shoes, I've had these for about a year. They're like little glove shoes from Mango. They've got like a square toe, really, really soft. Very similar to Everlane's little glove shoes, if you've seen those. So perhaps you can't get these Mango ones anymore. I will link the Everlane ones down below. And there we go. That is today's Sunday lunch outfit. Right, this is the cute little country pub we're going to, but we're late, aren't we? Yeah, why are we late? Because someone was faffing about in the garden. Uh, no comment. Check on my bumblebee babies. Your bumblebee babies. Well, they're not bumblebee babies, are they? Singular, singular bees. Singular Sol bees. That's it. Come on, let's get a move on. I'm hungry. Look at that bad boy. Yeah. 
Right, we've just got back from our pub lunch and I'm not kidding, I'm so stuffed that I had to get dressed into my dressing gown. <laughs> it's like half three in the afternoon. My dressing gown and my cashmere jogging suit and cashmere socks because it is Baltic outside. It's freezing cold so cold none of this lot wants to go out in the garden and i don't blame them um so you should be able to see in the reflection of the mirror that simon has put on some absolute tripe snooker that will be changed imminently and i think we're just going to spend the rest of the afternoon like slobbing out watching a bit of uh oh we've been watching designated survivor so i think we've got like four episodes of the second season left so we need to finish that and yeah just chillax for the rest of the day well we have had a lovely relaxing afternoon we finished designated survivor and it is now about 6 p.m ish in the evening so i have just made the bed it's one thing i like to do on a sunday is wash the bed in have the bedroom nice and clean ready for deep slumber tonight. So I've just made the bed, everything's smelling all fresh. So I thought I'd take this opportunity before we settle into a new box set, if we can decide on what to watch. If anyone's got any good Netflix suggestions or even Amazon Prime or Sky, please do leave them down in the comment section below. And yes, I have watched Fleabag and it was amazing. Um, so yeah, I thought I would take a little moment to just sign off from this little, I suppose it's kind of like a mini vlog. I'm just trying to get used to vlogging again, get back into the swing of things. So yes, thank you very much for watching this vlog and hopefully I'll be back next week with another vlog. And what do I have for you this Sunday? Oh, we have a mango haul for you guys this Sunday. So I will see you then.